right, so here we are. We're flying alongside the mountain. And the sun went down, so we started losing a little altitude. But Ruben's confident that he'll find some thermals for us, and we'll be back up in the uh, higher altitude here shortly. Okay, so Ruben found an area where there's no trees, just grass, and he believes that uh, there would be a good thermal coming off of this area to take us a little higher. And maybe I can show you the little altimeter that has all the flight data. We're right now at 1,594, what is that, meters? Yeah. And that gives you the temperature? Yeah, it's 13? 13.2 degrees Celsius. Yes, exactly. Then we have 34 kilometers an hour ground speed, 30, speed over okay. the ground. And we go down zero, or at the moment we go up a little bit. Okay. It is meters in a second. I see, meters in a second, okay. Great. Okay, down there on the ground, if I can zoom in, there's some guys that are doing some remote control airplanes. Not sure if you can see it. like three or four different gliders up in the air. We're actually flying out now more into the valley. They search some thermals also. They're looking for thermals also. This is really a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I know. But for you, it's a two or three time a week experience. <laughs> uh, I love my life. <laughs> you, what, you it's, love You love your wife? Yeah, also. Oh, okay. And I love also my life. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is one of the best places in the world where we can live. You think so? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, you haven't been to San Francisco. Have you Have you been to the United States? No, never. Oh, Ruben. Yeah, I know. Hey, Ruben, look out! Ruben, what? we're gonna hit the mountain! Ruben, no. slow down! It's only a small mountain. Ruben! No! It's far, it's Ruben, far. Ruben, I'm too young to die! No! You cannot count. Oh, Ruben, Five, turn! Four. No! Ruben! Stop it! You? No! Oh, okay. Oh, Ruben! Turn! Oh, thank you. It's enough. Thank you, Ruben. Okay. You have insurance, yes? Oh, I have no. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Ruben, we're very close to the mountain. You could come here and find a Christmas tree. Yeah, uh, we watch for the dinner here. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we're very close to the side of the hill here. You could almost uh, reach out and touch it. No, we have approximately four or five meters. Ah. All right, now we're going back out. Fly me to the moon. Let me dance amongst the stars. Let me know what it's like to fly on Jupiter or Mars. In other words, hold my hand. Do you know who sings that song? I don't know the song. Oh, that's, nice. 
That's Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah. You've heard of Frank Sinatra, right? Yes. Of course. All right. Hey, Ruben? Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about learning how to do this yourself. Do you teach people how to fly? No, it takes too much time for us to teach the singing pilots to uh, learn to fly. It is uh, schools, they have this job, and they take approximately six months to teach to a, people, uh, to a person to begin to fly by himself. Is it possible for somebody to fly uh, by, by, is it possible for somebody to teach themselves how to fly? I don't think so. No. That is too many things that you must know. It is the laws in the sky. It is the turbine. Okay. How to start the glider, what is the correct uh, uh, move in the sky. You just can uh, use the brakes like you like you like. Okay. But How much does it cost to learn how to fly? It takes six months. Yeah. And how, how much does it cost? About, approximate. The license at the moment costs one and a half thousand euros. One and a half thousand. Yeah. One thousand five hundred? Exactly. Euro for a license. Yeah. Okay, but how much do you have to pay to learn the school? No, this is uh, okay, the school. Okay, so the school. With, it's with license that you get out the, the, the finish of the and it takes how long? Six months? Six months, yes. Okay. And how much does it cost for a, for a kite? Uh, that I know, kiting, don't, you don't must have licenses. Well, this is not a kite. I mean, what do you, the parasail, I'm sorry. The wind, parasail. Yeah. The wind, this one, costs 4,000 euros. 4,000 euros. Yes. All right. So 4,000 euros. Uh, Probably about six thousand five hundred dollars, six thousand U.S. dollars. Yeah. And we change it every three years. Okay, so you change it, and uh, that, that's interesting. Now I look over across the sky, and I see some people are very much higher than us. Yeah. How come I, I, I I'm not getting my hundred euros worth? Yeah. I want my you, I, you I got want it back. I want fifty euros back because we're not high like the other people. Yeah, you like to be the highest, is this right? Oh, of course. Of course, okay. Of course, the highest, the biggest. That, you know. Let's go higher. I'm, I'm, I'm an American, uh, Ruben. <laughs> that, let's go you know, higher. The Americans no. want the biggest and the best. Okay. You are big and the best. Hey, well, I don't know about big, but maybe at the best. <laughs> Ruben! Ruben! No, we're getting too close! No! Ruben! Try to touch him. No! The parasail's gonna hit the wall! Let's go out a little bit. Whoa! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ruben. Well, that was close. That was close, that's correct. Okay, there you see a fellow par There you see a fellow parasailer. Do you know that parasailer, Ruben? No, it's one of the new young guys. They learned this year. Oh, you gotta be careful with the new young guys. Oh, yes. <laughs> I stay him away. Yes, yes, stay, stay him away. You know, Ruben, I should get people a view of the kite. Yeah, that's apparent for me. That it's an owner from a hotel here in the area. Okay. And he have made the sponsor of this glider. Oh, he bought the glider? Yeah. Really? That's good for you. Oh, yes. And it's also good for the clients. Yes. That they get all three years a new glider. Yeah, absolutely. With this system. Absolutely.